Hey Mike, how you doing? Great. Mr. Mini 2.0. Yes, uh, I'm Mike Kent of Aminote, and I'm the chairman of the MIDI 2 working group. Uh, MIDI 2 is coming along really, really well. You know, 40 years ago at the NAMM show, MIDI 1.0 was introduced to the world, and here we are really introducing MIDI 2.0 to the world. And we think that 2023 uh, is the beginning of MIDI 2.0. Uh, so what's changed? Because this is something we've been waiting for, and I'm sure you've been waiting for. So absolutely. There must be some developments that kind of make you feel that that's yeah, the case, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we published the first MIDI 2 specs in 2020. And since that time, we've been spending a lot of time in the MIDI Association prototyping MIDI 2.0 to make sure that everything works the way it's supposed to. And so, uh, for example, we're using here the, the Protozoa from Amino. This is a hardware development tool for MIDI 2.0. And so the MIDI Association members have been using this and a software called the MIDI Workbench which we're running over here right. to run MIDI 2.0 and do testing. And so this is MIDI 2.0 notes coming into a Windows computer um, running MIDI 2.0. So this is what we've been doing is prototyping. And so the Apple OS now has MIDI 2.0 already in it. Wow, that's a big one. Google right. Android has it in it. And today here we're showing Windows for the first time running MIDI 2.0. Is that an OS level or is it a third party driver? Uh, uh, no, at the OS level. Uh, Mac OS and iOS have it built in from Apple. Android has it from Google. And Windows, uh, Pete uh, Brown from Microsoft announced that they will be releasing MIDI 2.0 support this year. As it turns out, my company, Aminote, is doing the USB MIDI driver for Windows. Right. And so that's what we're showing here is the, the MIDI 2.0 driver operating. Um, and so if I play keys on this, this, they're coming into the MIDI workbench and I can see MIDI 2.0 notes uh, arriving in the software here. So these boards that you've got yes. here, are these kind of the sort of thing that people will be putting in hardware that they're going to be, so new keyboards might use a board like that as their main MIDI communication board, is that what? The, That's your... right. O on the uh, Protozoa is the name of this board. On the Protozoa, we're running a, a, a Raspberry Pico is running all of the MIDI 2 functionality. And the Pico uh, and Raspberry platforms, yeah. as you know, are open platforms. And so other manufacturers are contributing to the, to, the, to the code that's running on here. And we will be making all of this open source. So manufacturers can use the Pico to develop their core functionality and then put it onto an ARM processor in their product and use that for their, their MIDI uh, transport and a handling of MIDI data. So do you think we're going to see a take? I mean, because obviously people are struggling enough to actually... Sorry, it's very loud here. People are struggling really hard to actually make stuff, just getting the parts, but you're... Yes. So do you think this year this is going to be a, a, a more of a take-up on the hardware? Because that's really where it's going to... Keep. Right, yes, yes. There, there will be a, a, a take-up. One reason we chose the Raspberry Pico for, for the Protozoa is availability. Uh, it's available in large numbers and has been for a year and it looks to be for the long term. And so it's a good processor to be that, that MIDI 2 interface. Um, here at the show, uh, on the MIDI Association booth, we're showing a couple of prototypes. We're showing for the first time the MIDI 2 protocol with a rolling keyboard sending MIDI 2.0 notes into the Apple OS and into Logic, which now supports MIDI 2 uh, protocol and for the first time a plug-in from Ivory piano plug-in running MIDI 2.0. So we're showing that. So the first products are starting to come out this year and in 2024 we'll see more. And I, I really kind of expect this growth to happen kind of as a five-year process. So maybe in 2024 you might buy your first MIDI 2.0 product, but you've only got one. So it's still, still operate as a MIDI 1.0 product because the rest of your system is MIDI 1.0. But then over the next four or five years, more and more products will come out and eventually you'll have more MIDI 2.0 products. And so maybe your system will have, have half MIDI 1.0 and half MIDI 2.0 and they'll work all together. So you don't expect MIDI 2.0 to be like instant on. It's, yeah. Our industry is progressing there in the next few years.
Yeah, no, I understand that. It's a long road. So, the, so, so can anybody get hold of these uh, development boards, uh, or do they the have Protozoa to The Protozoa is sold uh, and provided only to paid members of the MIDI Association right. and the Association of Music Electronics Industry in Japan today. But that's because we've implemented some new MIDI 2.0 features that are not yet public. And so when the MIDI Association publishes those new specifications with the updated features, uh, we expect to release Protozoa to all developers. We expect that to happen within the next six to eight weeks. Oh, right, so pretty imminent. So we will be making this available to all developers. Right. Same right. with the MIDI Workbench software, which is from Yamaha. Right. Mike, thank you so much. You're welcome.